Hey, what's up, YouTube? Roach Source back with another React video. Today, we're taking a look at Microsoft Actually One. Now, I do believe this is talking about the Activision and Blizzard acquisition that Microsoft has been fighting so hard to get. But we're going to listen to Moist Critical here and find out what's going on. Let's go. Let's go! If history's taught us one thing, it's that gamers are the pride and joy of the human race. I feel like the only reason the Lord ever even made humans to begin with was so that we would eventually evolve to a point where we can finally reach our ultimate metamorphosis and become the turbo gamers we were destined to be. Absolutely. And my friends, it's with a <laughs> smile on my face and butterflies in my tummy that I proudly announce that we are entering the golden age of gaming. We have arrived. Gamers can't stop winning. We eat good, fuck good, feel good, and when someone stands in our way, we say, Listen, buster, you noob, get out of town, or I'm gonna have to level up on your ass. And that's exactly what just happened in court, basically, with the FTC. The FTC got the latest smackdown from gamers when they tried to block Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Those fools at the FTC, those bumbling, imbecile, homunculus morons, thought that they could walk all over our God-given right to game. Hard. Yeah, honestly, in my opinion, I think that, like, everybody should be able to game on any platform. Like, there shouldn't be exclusivity um, with games, honestly. That's how I feel. Should, every platform should have all the same fucking games. Now, whether you guys agree with this or not, hey, let me know down in the comments. But we're going to keep continuing the video. And now, they're learning a tough lesson. Don't tussle with the virtual muscle, or you're gonna end up looking silly. The cyber- This dude's metaphors are hilarious, bro. I- I- I love moist- Space is a circus, and now you're the clowns. Now, for those of you who have no fucking idea what I'm talking about, I'll briefly explain. Microsoft made an offer to buy Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. An offer Activision Blizzard couldn't resist. Like Mr. Krabs with the dollar signs in their eyes, they were pretty on board with the idea, so they began moving forward with the conversations because $69 billion, that's, that's a lot of doubloons. That's enough clams to make right. you slap your own mother. So they were going forward, <laughs> going through with the process, but encountered quite a few obstacles along the way. Oh, the biggest yeah. one being the Federal Trade Commission blocking yep. the acquisition. The FTC they won't let me be, baby. If Microsoft was to acquire all of the properties under Activision Blizzard, they would then have the means and motivation to harm competition and be very anti-competitive because they could basically like take something like Call of Duty exclusive to Xbox. This was a big talking point, actually, Call of Duty in particular, but... Activision Blizzard has major heavy hitters in the video game space, and they were arguing that under Microsoft's control, they wouldn't really have incentive to release a quality product on rival consoles like Sony's PlayStation. Right. So they were a bit... Well, the, the other thing is, too, Microsoft is, I and mean, you know, they could possibly be lying, but they have already went out and said that they would not make Call of Duty exclusive for uh, Xbox or pc in general so concerned about you know this being anti-competitive and maybe potentially even forming a monopoly down the line so they motion to block this acquisition and this has been an ongoing battle for the last few months and microsoft's been making a lot of arguments about why it actually be the contrary should microsoft get activision blizzard they would actually enable more access to the properties taking call of duty to a platform like even the nintendo switch for all six people that would be delusional enough to buy a Call of Duty game on the Switch, because that'd be running at like 5 FPS. That fucking console can barely even handle mobile games. <laughs> but there would be more access to it, according to my True, song. brother. I get my viewers in all the time trying to play Fortnite, and <laughs> it's a mess. And before and they're, the, they're on the Switch start fucking steaming out of their ears and slapping on the keyboard, I like the Switch. It's just a really embarrassing joke of hardware that can't really handle third-party modern games super well. Like Apex Legends on the Switch had to be the biggest joke the video game industry ever tried to pull. Nintendo Switch is good for just basically their first-party exclusives. So yeah. 
it is Agreed. cool if Call of Duty does go to the Switch like this. Like, I mean, that's great. More access is always a good thing. But that would be, like, the worst way of playing this game, I imagine. Unless they release, like, the Switch 2.0. But regardless, Microsoft was arguing that if they do get Activision Blizzard, this would only actually help give people more means of playing these games on consoles. Exactly. They wouldn't take anything away from rival consoles. And they've been making these arguments for quite a while now. Mm. And it seems to have worked because today... But the I was judge saying, ruled in favor of Microsoft, so they chose all of the correct dialogue options in order to get the Microsoft good, true. Into <laughs> the dialogue tree was correct, I suppose. According to the judge in this case, they stated that this court's responsibility in this case is narrow. It is to decide if, notwithstanding these current circumstances, the merger should be halted, perhaps even terminated, pending the resolution of the FTC administrative action. For the reasons explained, the court finds the FTC has not shown a likelihood that it will prevail on its claims this particular vertical merger in the specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumer access to Call of Duty and other Activision content. The motion for a preliminary injunction is therefore denied. Fucking caps lock denied there. That's <laughs> denied. like some shit out of League of Legends. Judge was getting a bit toxic there. Fucking locking that one down in caps. So the judge <laughs> gave the thumbs down in the Coliseum here to the Federal Trade Commission's block on this this Activision Blizzard play from Microsoft. They even just wiped their ass with an analysis from a Harvard economics professor who was arguing that they would have financial incentive to make Call of Duty an Xbox exclusive. And they said that this failed to take into account plans for the franchise to remain on PC, come to Switch, and be accessible through cloud gaming. Before the merger, a consumer wanting to play a Call of Duty console game had to buy a PlayStation or an Xbox. After the merger, consumers can utilize the cloud to play on the device of choice, including, it is intended, on the Nintendo Switch. Perhaps bad for Sony, but good for Call of Duty gamers and future gamers. Yeah, and I'm going to be honest, guys, the Call of Duty franchise right now uh, the way it's looking, it's on its last leg, so uh, they need to be on as many platforms as they can right now, am I right? <laughs> I think they're actually right on the money with this one here. Before all of this hoopla here, if you wanted Call of Duty on the consoles, either Xbox or PlayStation. So I do understand the rationale behind if the Xbox manufacturer gets a hold of Call of Duty, if they grab the scrotum of Call of Duty... Why would they even bother to continue putting it on Sony's PlayStation, you know? That's their competition. Like, I get where the thought process is coming from, but they fail to take into account that Microsoft itself already allows its exclusives to go to rival platforms, the PC. Microsoft yeah. itself, there's no such thing as a real Xbox exclusive anymore because all of their Xbox exclusives go to PC. Well, PC technically is still owned. It's Microsoft owned. Microsoft still owns uh pc so it's microsoft is microsoft <laughs> i don't know how else to say it at the same time pretty much so they kind of already shown that they're okay letting their biggest titles go to other platforms so i don't see why they'd think that it would be different here if they it's pretty much the, the same platform like they would though. still benefit from it going to playstation like and they benefit know. from allowing even more access like going to the switch and they've already allowed all of their exclusives right now to not be locked down to the Xbox because they already go to PC too. So I do think under Microsoft there is going to be more access to things like Call of Duty. This was a huge talking point in this case because Call of Duty is such a fucking power franchise. And I do think a dying that they're power franchise. Under Microsoft Honestly, if I mean if you guys look at the numbers it still might be one of the most number one sellers on Steam and stuff, but as of right now, um, actually, I haven't even looked at the charts. Let's go ahead and pull the charts up real quick. So it's not on trending. It's not in the top five. It's not even in the top ten, I would say, at this point. We'll just have to look at Modern Warfare 2 right now. Yeah, so this this jumped up like on release. Is this seven day? 48 hour, okay. Uh, let's do one year. Six months. So yeah, this is on this has been on a downward spiral ever since release, bro. And I for some reason I can't find Warzone 2 on here, but I'm pretty sure it's on the same the same trend, right? So my point's exactly. Soft. I don't see it being exclusive to Xbox or anything. It'll probably just be more accessible. Sony, on the other hand, has shown many times in its past that it wants 
to have its cake and eat it too. It wants to be like your only option. I, I've already gone over this in previous videos, but there have been times in the past where Sony has legitimately tried to do anti-competitive practices because they have a very strong market share in the video gaming space. And they don't budge on fucking anything mostly. And I think Sony recognized this, which is why they'd be looking out for their own selfish interests to continue to have that stranglehold on the market share. They realize that under Microsoft, Activision Blizzard properties being more accessible hurts their position because now you no longer just have the choice of Xbox and PlayStation. Now Nintendo Switch could enter the conversation. Cloud gaming where you could play on other devices as well. So Sony, I think, really only cares about itself, not like the good yeah. of the gaming space. So I overall do yeah, think it's fuck a good Sony. Thing no, I'm just kidding. I, whatever platform you guys prefer, that's fine with me. I really don't care. I'm PC, honestly, and more PC Xbox side, but hey, you do you, boo. I'm not exactly a Microsoft fan. I think pretty much every studio they touch turns to shit, and I really think the Xbox has... Oh, I'm not, like, really a fan of any, like, platform in particular. I just want to play games, and I just so happen to play on PC. I like the graphics. I like the, the frame rate on PC. I think it's a lot better in a lot of games than, say, a console. So that's why I play on what I play on. As far as, like, the whole console war thing, I don't give a fuck. I just want to play my games. Nothing on it at all. It's just kind of a fucking brick. I have not got my Xbox out of this drawer in front of me in over a year and a half. And the only reason I brought it out a year and a half ago was to replay an old Xbox 360 game called Bayonetta. Love Bayonetta, by the way. <laughs> so there's just, I, I think the Xbox Series X and all that is a fucking That's flop funny. right now. It, Phil Spencer recognizes that. He even had that statement not long ago about how they've completely lost the video game uh, industry race right now. But I'm still optimistic for the future. Like, with this deal going through, should it go through? Again, it's not a done deal. I do think having more access to titles is a good thing. So I'm always for yep. that. Though... I'm not super optimistic about the quality of titles coming forward because, like I said, Microsoft has, like, the fucking cheese touch here. They curse everything under their umbrella in the video game space, and every studio kind of goes tits up. Now, like I said, it's not a done deal. There's well, let's be fair here. Blizzard and Activision have already been tips up long before this deal even went through. <laughs> Still is another big block right now, and this one comes from the Competition and Markets Authority. This is in the UK. So the CMA also blocked the deal in April, arguing yeah, that it would yeah, hamper yeah, growth them. in cloud gaming. But it seems like this is starting to weaken a little bit, like they're starting to be more open to proposals from Microsoft. So it feels like that's only a matter of time before that's no longer an obstacle for this uh, acquisition. But yeah, anyway, just wanted to give you this update because this is a very big deal in gaming. This is Absolutely. by far the biggest fucking deal like ever done in gaming. But probably just one of like the biggest purchases in general. A $69 billion buy here is fucking massive. And Activision Blizzard has some huge properties, so there is a lot of potential ramifications for the future of gaming. Could be good. I imagine it probably will be good, but it also could be bad. There's really yep. no telling right now. So I just wanted to give you a little update on everything that's been going on here, and uh, yeah. I think it'll be, I, it, it definitely can be good. I don't want to see it go bad. Please, Microsoft, do not fuck this up, okay? Hear me, hear me out. Look at me in the eyes right now. Don't fuck it up. That's about it. Yeah. Well, there you guys have it. Microsoft finally won the acquisition of Blizzard and Activision, and hopefully we'll see some good come out of this. Hopefully we'll uh, get a lot of games across all platforms, unlike just, uh, you know, Sony exclusives or Xbox exclusives, yada, yada, yada. Obviously, as a gamer, we want to see these games come across all platforms. We don't want the exclusivity unless you're like a fucking console fanboy dick writer that you know enjoys only wants their games on sony and if it goes to xbox then you're gonna throw a fit and stop playing well stop fucking playing then you bitch <laughs> anyways guys that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the content if you did leave a like and hit the sub button if you're new to the channel and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one hey guys if you like the video make sure you head over to the page hit that like button Scroll over, smash that subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified for future video drops, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.